Okay, I've timed it. You got Byway. Byway P. Joe. So, this is Tado. You got Hanyo. Julie. Mayo Hanyo. Oh, yo, the. So, they do have Chinese on the, the Byway, and who knows if it's the same recipe, even, or if it's even affiliated with Budweiser, but that's the world we live in. So, these are, I think, these are older. This is one of my scenic routes, by the way. I mean, this town is big, but not big in population, but I don't know how to explain it. Half a million people, it's big, but it's still a town feel. So these are, sometimes I think when I when they ask me questions that they've heard of me, like, she's like, have you, you, where do you sleep or where do you lay, right? Like, it's just it's so different than English, like, like it's kind of because it's I'm the only foreigner here, so it's like they take videos and it's all like some kind of communal connection. I don't know. I'm not trying to be conspiratorial or paranoid, but it, it, when you're the only foreign face in a city of half a million, you stand out, especially when you're me. Anyway, so those buildings, though, these, this is what we're talking about when there's ghost towns here because they just have built these, and there's more homes and people, so that's one reason that they're not selling because that doesn't make sense and then the economy is the economy artificial intelligence is replacing human labor uh, I can go on and on with factors uh, production whatever production that's being sold to consumers in wealthier nations is being produced in poor nations etc etc but these are older these are kind of these are cute um, look at this man with the pedal bike. I love I love the mix. You can still see the mix of vehicles here in China, even though it's industrialized with cars. Where this guy would probably get a ticket in the States. Wait, Niha. So, and then it's just like, it's, I'm just so different. I'm strange, right? They're like, what the hell is this guy doing here? Uh, but see, these are just now, like that, that whole community is just empty. And they're just selling those. I mean, you could buy maybe a three-bedroom now for twenty thousand, or not even less, right? But it's March 9th, coming up on St. Pat's, and it, the, it's still frozen over the lake, the Dongbei, Xiong, northeastern province, Liaoning. Um, so yeah, so I make my way. There's the bridge. Tianhu. Tianhu. Still working on my Chinese, man. It just goes to show, learn languages when you're young. So I'm going to maybe have lunch. The streets are still very quiet. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I just remember coming back to a city a little bit bigger than this. Maybe a second tier city. Fushun, where I met my wife. Uh, so this is maybe a third tier city, a third tier city with half a million people. But I met, but Fushun, when I came, it was rocking and rolling, what, 12 years ago. And like spring, even the feel of like warmer weather because of rough winters here was, you know, it's just people, it's just everybody was still out and about. I mean, we'll see, I've got the springtime to see how it, Changes, but yeah, the lake is still frozen over. It's not as cold as that. I don't know why it's not melting a little bit, but oh well. C'est la vie. All right, off to lunch. Not sure when I'll post this for many reasons, but I just don't think it's connected to my YouTube. Yinwei, Saija. This is Dongbei, Saijian from northeastern China. Bye bye.